Hey, what's up guys? It's boy Dante from ShopX03. Today we're going to be talking about Odd Future and their influence on fashion, streetwear, skatewear culture. Queuing up since 4 o'clock. They couldn't take a pic. So Odd Future was a collective that was created in 2007. Original members being Tyler Creator, I believe uh, Haji Beats, Left Brain, Domo Genesis, and a bunch of others. There's, that group is huge. So we're talking about the fashion here. Even before their clothing brand Odd Future, they were always rapping about fashion bars. For example, a song by Tyler the Creator, which was, his name was Ace the Creator back then, it was called Get Fresh. My own clothing gives me an erection. I like to jack off to my own clothing. Nigga, check my wallet and see how much I'm holding. A new bathing a t-shirt I'm unfolding. Another song, Rolling Papers, where Doma Genesis is like... My swagger straight through the roof, bitch. My Harishi kicks and bait teeth. I really do this. Yeah, but Rolling Papers by Doma Genesis is another reference I really like. One of my favorite uh, songs of Odd Future Volume 1 mixtape is uh, Fucking Lames. And there's a bunch of fat shit bars in there where he's like, Sorry, I sold my soul. For some gold babes, low price, still rate, authentic, never fake. Console addict, a baby Milo addict in the attic. When you losers can't get me. So, yeah, just thinking about it, look, if the whole music video of She, you know, the Red Supreme Nunchucks and then. Every gold ninja stars and Red Supreme Nunchucks. Tyler the Creator is wearing that blue box logo Supreme hoodie and you know I really wanted that one when I was like 14 so yeah talking about Odd Future and the clothes that they like to rock back then I feel like that's when rap was meeting hipster so it was like hipster rap who else could put the hipsters with felons and thugs and paint a perfect picture of what selling it does this is for the critics who doubted the chemistry two different worlds same symmetry in this black art see the wizardry so uh, that's where the Odd Future was kind of boring a little bit a little bit punk in it but their, their fashion sense was totally like rap hipster. You know, they rock, they rock shirts with the tight uh, jeans, uh, or skinny jeans, or even the tight jean shorts with the vans and the long socks, and then they got the five panels on with either like a catch tee or like a wolf tee. You guys remember that? I used to dress like that. I remember it was like long, or tank tops. It was, this was like during the swag, the swag era, but Odd Future had their own type of swag to it. Odd Future opened up their uh, store on Fairfax in 2011, and uh, there they sold, you know, things like this right here. This is a Cat Wang t-shirt. Uh, this was actually, uh, Tyler Creator wore this in Trouble on My Mind featuring Pusha T. Other clothes that Odd Future put out back then that was you would you guys would recognize it kind of nostalgic would be like the Free Earl hoodie or the Lucas Veretti t-shirt. The hoodie with my face on it. You should buy that. They had the cat wearing t-shirts or the you know the snapbacks with the upside down crosses because they were super edgy at that time. Also the rainbow cat. You guys remember the rainbow cat? And not only that, this t-shirt right here has a tab on the back that says do not fap. Unfortunately, I believe in like 2014, 15-ish, I mean rumor has it Jasper or Mike G sold the company, the Odd Future brand, clothing brand to like Zoomies or something. But I'm not sure. But anyways, it is, you know, Odd Future clothing band ended up in Zoomie. But for that first run, I really liked their shit. Like, this is one of my favorite shirts. So there would be other uh, members of Odd Future that also had their clothing brand that's still going strong today. One of them being Anwar Carrots, and uh, I believe Casey Veggies is also part of the, the Carrots brand, the Peas and Carrots brand. Um, I have my own brand called Peas and Carrots International. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep them Word, I show you how to act. Peas and carrots on the map. Oh man, I probably throw it. Also, during the early days of Odd Future going, they would sell their um, merch at pop ups. I remember seeing YouTube vlogs uh, there in London selling their clothes, their Odd Future clothes, and they're in uh, just the world tour selling their Odd Future clothes back in the day. Bands in town, it's a pop up shop selling their merchandise. What are you selling today? Got some jeans. And there's a hoodie with my face on it. You should buy that. I did like all of these in like 24 hours. I did like 300 t-shirts in 24 hours, so. This all is hand done. Yeah. yeah. So what will they be retailing at today? Uh, I think it's like 100 pounds. Really? Are there any washing instructions in here?
Odd Future are in the remarkable position of being a hit band who haven't sold any records, or hardly any, given away 20 albums worth of songs online. So the merch, as it's known, is a vital element of their income. Now what about this hard sell you do with your merchandise? Because we were in that shop yesterday. You had kids queuing up since four o'clock. They couldn't take a picture. Set up shop, slang, and make our money. And we did. Ain't nobody taking no taxes from us, no cuts. Not paying taxes, that's for rich British people. Do Odd Future pay tax or don't they? A hundred percent. Really? Yes, a hundred percent. Check your... Kind of. Frank Ocean was on the uh, Met Gala carpet. I don't know how well his jewelry does, but, you know, he has a jewelry brand. It's kind of fashion adjacent. Another thing that Frank Ocean used to rock back in the day during, you know, Channel Orange time was he used to have a bandana that and he used to rock it on the head. But it wasn't like how Tupac would wear it, even though he, like, rolled up and then put it on. And I remember ninth grade uh, trying to go on YouTube and look for, like, you know, Bunks Live or Pink Matter Live and he'd be rocking that on his live concerts. And you can see a lot of their fashion uh, influence during the Loiter Squad days. Loiter Squad was the TV show on Adult Swim that you know, Tyler Creator, the whole Odd Future was a part of. And Tyler Creator wears some uh, Billionaire Boy Scum uh, Diamond Dollar hoodies in a few of those episodes that I really fuck with. Say young nigga on the set on my new video, young nigga. Mother um, I'm icy, you feel me? I'm in this waterproof jacket. I used to go in canoeing with this motherfucker over there in Colorado, Boulder. Shout out to my nigga, ooh, ooh, you feel me? If a nigga got a problem, hit the nigga with the llama. If a nigga got a problem, shoot a nigga in his dick. Young nigga got a scooter. Young nigga, new bitch, work at Hooters. Yo bitch gotta line up. Nigga don't f your boy, I don't give a f Click clack, hit a nigga in his back. They want a young nigga. And of course, they're all wearing, you know, the the Odd Future Wolfgang Kill 'Em All clothing brand back then. So not only did uh, Odd Future have a big impact on, you know, youth culture and uh, skate streetwear culture with their own brand, but they would also be rocking Supreme Box logos, fucking awesome T-shirts, and you know, babe tees as well, babe hoodies and stuff. They'd be rapping about that even before, like the references I showed you their odd future clothing brand. A good example of, you know, all their style and the clothes they would rock would be the oldie video. The whole video just shows all of them and their swag at that point, you know? They're like Squidward House, man. Everybody say that, <laughs> Let's find a new joke, <laughs> <laughs> so suck my d Yo, yo, I love your beef though, bro. Everybody say the same joke. Hold on, hold on. Jo Joey, where you at right now, Joey? Yo, Only I'm in school. <laughs> You want to school? Go, go, go. Yeah. No, niggas, Wolfgang, we don't give a fuck. Tyler really loves Billionaire Boys Club, and he wanted to get his hands on a lot of those pieces by Pharrell from back in the day. A lot of the Diamond Dollars pieces, and he showcases this in the Terry Bomb documentary, where he shows off his N.E.R.D. memorabilia and a bunch of his Billionaire Boys Club, like Season 2, Season 1, Season zeros, Diamond and Dollars uh, hoodies and stuff. You can tell I'm a big N.E.R.D. fan, you know. Got my board sign, hat, another poster over there. A bunch of shit that I wanted since like I was 15. It's a school folder that came out with the album. This shit, it's crazy. Fucking uh, beer can opener. They played the lap dance on. So in 2017, you know, Tyler Creator wanted uh, to start his brand Golf Le Fleur, which is more of like an upscale brand compared to Odd Future, Wolfgang Kill Em All's clothing brand and Zoomies. This is more like, you know, he had a bunch of Le Fleur shoes and stuff. He did a collaboration with Convert. Actually, most recently, he did a collaboration with Louis Vuitton, a designer company. And that's probably because Pharrell is the creative director right there, and you know, Pharrell and Tyler Crater. If you know anything about Tyler Crater, you know he loves Pharrell. So, actually, I'm really excited because Sagan Lockhart, who was part of the Odd Future, uh, you know, he was a photographer at that time during the 2010s era. He actually just released a photo book of all uh, unseen photos and stuff like that with Odd Future, Mac Miller, and all the 2010 School by Q, probably Kendrick's probably in there. Just that 2010 to 2000, like 15 ish. Era. So yeah, anyways guys, this has been the video Odd Future and their influence on streetwear, fashion, and uh, yeah. And if you guys want a lighter case made by, made by me, 
um, with the bait fabric behind me. This is real bait fabric. They're $20 on ShopX03. You know where to find me. Thank you guys again.